Hi, it's Leslie Meredith with Breakbook Events and Media. We are talking to the panelists from our Future Fuels panel, and right now I have Gina from Oceans Arena with me. Welcome, Gina. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you for hosting me on this uh, show. Absolutely. So tell us about Oceans Arena. What do you do? So Oceans Arena is a strategy consulting firm. We do bespoke uh, strategy solutions for ESG, mainly a branding, legal strategy, and the whole kind of positioning of how a company is putting itself forward in this new age. Oh, interesting. And how does that fit in with this topic of future fuels? So our session was clearly on the environmental agenda and uh, the fuels going forward. Uh, and it's clearly interrelating as one of the drivers and one of the outcomes of the panel was that it is public opinion in this new era of transparency and trust and uh, what the end consumer wants. So everything ties up on this uh, new norm of ESG going forward. All right. And I was speaking to um, Roger Strevens mm -hmm. a little bit ago, and he was <coughs> excuse me, saying also that uh, green finance mm -hmm, exactly uh, is another aspect of this and looking at sustainability and perhaps how you position yourself in the market can uh, make it your uh, company more favorable Finance, as lenders yes. are looking at you. Most definitely, that's one of the most crucial points. So the fi financing in the market, we know it's a heavy capital industry, so financing is very important. And we are seeing not only regulations, but banks who want transparency in the reporting on what are you doing in respect to the environmental agenda, mm -hmm. uh, how are you moving forward, what's your long-term plans on solving the solution. So if, uh, if companies want to be attractive to uh, finance institutions, they really do need to be taken into consideration the path and a strategy, an effective strategy for uh, sustainability. Yeah, absolutely. So that's something you offer is the whole package and coaching, if you will, mm -hmm. or guiding companies through this process. I imagine for many companies, this is sort of a whole new world that they need to deal with. It is, and actually, that is, uh, I come from a ship owner background of working mainly in-house with ship owners, so I feel it's quite important. They are busy running vessels, right? So uh -huh. the last thing they need is to get their head around this uh, maze of what the EU is saying, what are the IMO is saying, what the banks are saying. Mm -hmm. So. The point is to work with them, understand that priority. They have a commercial business to run and we do have to create a better future. So merge those two together, simplify it, and help mm -hmm. them through the whole process of uh, uh, what they'll need legally, what they need for the financiers, and how they actually brand themselves uh, in the industry and beyond, of course. Excellent. That sounds like a fabulous service and something that's really needed right now. And I'm so glad that you could come to Break Bulk Europe and share that with um, the people that are here. It's, it's exciting. Been, it, it's very exciting. It's been amazing being here and it is my first physical event after COVID. So even more so, but I think especially in the Break Bulk sector because there's so many stakeholders to be considering. And uh, it is something I'm very enthusiastic and passionate about bringing everything together because we're all working towards the same goal, a better future. And I think the easier we facilitate each other and join forces, the better it will be to guide us through this uh, process. Absolutely. Well, we're so happy you're here with us this year and hope that we will see you again next year. Most definitely. Thank you so much, Leslie. <laughs> All right.